Want to help support Juno Cigars? Two great ways to do it, smokeagoinshop.com and on Patreon. So click those links in the description below and help support this great cigar channel. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Joe at Juno Cigars back for another review after the bit of a hiatus because of some random strikes against the channel once again. Going right back into the reviews again, this time going into AJ Fernandez and a very new cigar from his lineup that it was just released this year. This is the AJ Fernandez New World Dorado in Figurado. This is a 6x56 box pressed Figurado Perfecto. And as you can see, it's got the typical New World band work on there, but this time well, it's a much more gold emphasis on the wrapper or on the band. But on the wrapper, as you can see, there's a little bit of a golden hue to this brown Habano sun-grown Nicaraguan wrapper. Very severe nub towards the end of the cigar. Nice peaked cap there. Beautiful looking coloring and a nice oil sheen. A little bit of toothiness to this wrapper. A very, very sharp box pressing on this. Nice foot band on the end. Pre-light aromas on this one. We got some, ooh, very pungent barnyard earth. Some charred oak notes. Some rich cocoa powder. And maybe a little bit of fruitiness kind of a dried fruit sort of aroma. Blend on this one, obviously this is gonna be a Nicaraguan Puro, so all the, Nicar all the tobaccos in this particular blend come from AJ's farm. Most of, them, uh, most of them come from AJ's Dorado farm, hence the name, the New World Dorado, which means golden. All right, can't wait. Let's go ahead and get this one cut and check out the cold draw. As expected, the draw is a bit on the snug side. There's some constriction here with this Perfecto foot. Hmm. Getting a lot, a nice amount of vanilla, dried fruit, cedar. Getting apricot and, uh, and dates, dried apricot and dates, as those are the primary fruit notes that I'm getting. There's a little bit of leather in there as well. All right, let's go ahead and start toasting, see what we can find out. And actually a decent draw resistance on this one, even with that Perfecto foot. I'm expecting this to open up even more, but even as it is, it is a little on the snug side, but a surprising amount of smoke output and a decent enough draw where even if it didn't open, it could still be smokable. This is medium to medium full. Hmm, some very rich milk chocolate and dried fruit notes coming through. Wow, that milk chocolate is very forward. Mmm. Incredible vanilla cream and more dried fruit notes on the initial retrohale. A hint of pepper spice, but that's about it. This is surprisingly smooth and an abundance of chocolate sweetness coming through. Dried fruit notes that I'm getting, I'm getting golden raisin, apricot, dates, dried fig. Just kind of a myriad of dried fruit flavors, but they're all very sweet. Very interesting. All right, let this go until I get a little further into the first third. I'll see you then. All right, 10 minutes in, well into the first third. Burn line is pretty good past the initial taper, except for that one little valley, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm sure it's going to catch up. Figure out was like this. There's going to be a little unevenness with that first inch or so because of all the tapering involved. Draw has opened up big time. We're getting huge plumes of smoke, still medium to medium full bodies. Got some oil texture to the smoke. Dried fruit flavors are still there. 
starting to get a big influx of pepper spice and charred wood notes little bits of brown sugar sweetness and the chocolate the milk chocolate very abruptly faded off and became more of a dry malty cocoa powder which was a very interesting transition on to the retro hill big blast of white pepper little bits of cedar but we're also getting a nice orange zest coming through right behind that initial well there's a red pepper spice and white pepper spice in that retro hail very nice balanced not super aggressive but enough to really wake you up probably wouldn't do a big retro hail on this one because man i can really tell that spice was just going to make my eyes water if you go overboard with it all right let this go until i get about halfway through the cigar see you then All right, we are 35 minutes in, just about halfway through the cigar. As you can see, burn line is still pretty good. A little wavy, but not problematic. Only ashed it the one time. Came off in a nice one and a half inch chunk. Still medium to medium full body. Still got a healthy amount of oil on the smoke texture. And the flavors at this point, we have a reintroduction of actual chocolate as opposed to cocoa but it's more of a really rich dark chocolate also getting a lot of very deep earth notes some developing red pepper spice cinnamon and allspice coming through on the draw with a little touch of some charred oak notes coming through as you go in on the finish every now and then it reminds me of a, like a dark chocolate covered cherry start get some of those real black cherry sort of sweet notes coming through on the draw and on the retro hail just a great red pepper dried black cherry sort of flavors coming through on the retro little hints of black pepper and cedar and we're starting to get some earth tones on that retro as well really am enjoying this one quite a bit the draw is super relaxed with a great amount of smoke output and i just love the way the smoke texture feels on the palate a very relaxing very enjoyable cigar so far let this go until i get towards the end of the cigar and i'll see you then all right we are an hour and 15 minutes in down to the nub here absolutely great construction in that last half of the cigar it was never really an erratic burn in this every time it started to look like it was going to get a little crooked i always just set it down it would correct itself very quickly draw has been absolutely wonderful i love the smoke output and the body of the cigar has always been medium to medium full a little bit tilting towards the medium full side as we're getting towards the end here flavors in this back half have just been great we started to get some malty nutty sort of characteristics coming through on the draw kind of reminded me of like a malty hot cocoa sometimes bordering on espresso still plenty of rich rich dark earth coming through there's some creamy nougat coming through now and the last third of cigar was actually getting that earlier than this the last third towards the back end of the second third that was starting to introduce itself and just a really nice warm chocolatey overtone on the draw still getting some red pepper notes every now and then i'll get reminiscent notes of that dried black cherry flavor and uh, there's still some baking spices of cinnamon and allspice every now and then on the retro hill mm, an intense red pepper with nougat nuttiness white pepper and orange zest with a little bit of cocoa in there for good measure it is really rich and deep the flavors are complex they're layered and very well balanced this is the fifth iteration of a new world blend in the new world lineup from uh from aj fernandez we had the original the new world of Skrull, we had the connecticut we had the pearl especial and then the cameroon this is the latest version of blends in the new world portfolio by aj fernandez i gotta say this is probably my favorite of the five 
Only had this one Vitola. Be interested to see what the Robusto and Toro might be like. I'm not really going to pay a whole lot of attention to the Gordo size. I don't really go for Gordos. I don't think it's the best expression of any blend anyway most of the time. But this Figurado is spot on good and a testament to how good A.J. Fernandez is at blending Nicaraguan tobacco. Really dug this one a lot. And uh, it had a lot of great flavors, nuances to offer. Enjoyed it from the very beginning down to the nub. It's still delicious, still flavorful. Got a lot of great balance and cleanness and flavor even as I got down to the nub. So thank you so much for joining me at this review. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Click that icon in the bottom right corner if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Rumble, just look for the subscribe button toward the top right of the screen. Don't forget to follow Juno Cigars on Instagram, and to, don't forget to follow me on the contributions and reviews I do on Cigar Public. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. See you on the next one. Till next time, smoke a good one.